Alright, so we're working on the front square for the front air I'm just going to. Um, just like in the diagram that we made, from here to here is 10 inches, which should give us the perfect geometry we're hoping for. The A arms will mount on top here. We'll have one set that will mount there, just like the back, and then one that will mount here. And in the middle here, we'll have our steering rack that'll mount here. And then we have our swivel joint here so we can get the steering shaft out of the way because the pedals will be there. We got the front A arm or the bottom front A arm tacked up here. <clears throat> it's a little bit longer than the rear A arm is, which is good. It'll give us a little more stability in the front when we steer. Um, we got to get the top one done there, as well as the other side. We should be good to go then. The one side here tacked up. Looks like it's quite boxy, but... Once you get the shock in there... Not too bad. Something like that. Definitely, uh, definitely beefy. For sure. So for the top here, it's a Preston um, ball joint. So we're gonna mill up a plate um, that'll be like three inches by three inches. And then that'll tap down into it to secure the top of the knuckle. And the steering will have Yep, down here we have the tie rod there, that'll go in, somewhere in there it'll be mounted. And then the steering wheel then, the steering shaft will then get mounted. Just got the other A-arm tacked up. We got one more bar to do yet. Should line up pretty good. The three so far line up good. And then we'll have our ball joint there holding the two together. And then a plate that the ball joint will press into. Got that one. One more to do and then the front should be almost put together. We just got to get that plate yet and then we should be should be good to go for the front. We just got the brackets on for the uh, press and ball joints for the steering knuckles here. Got both sides done. There and there. Now when these go up, they do turn in a little bit, which won't be an issue. The reason they're turned is obviously because they have to steer. But they cycle nicely. And next, I have to measure out the tie rod distance from there to the steering rack and get those all cut up and we'll have steering. Talk about um, steering Akram, what it is and how it affects how the buggy is going to drive. So steering Akram is how your car goes around a corner. So let's say we're making a left hand turn here. The left tire is going to need to turn sharper than the right tire is. Otherwise your car is going to scrub, which basically means one of the tires is going to have to skid along. <clears throat> so my model is not very good, but it should give an idea. So as you turn here, this tire here has to turn sharper than this tire will. So how you do that depends on where your tie rods mount under your buggy. The way you can find where your tie rods should mount is you um, scale down your whole buggy so you can fit it on a piece of paper and then draw lines from the center of the rear axle to the intersection on both tires 
of the front. And then anywhere along that line would give you perfect acrimony. Now the issue is we can't move our tie rod mounting locations because we're using Miata knuckles which already have tie rod locations built into them. So we won't have perfect acrimony. We got the steering rack mounted up where it needs to be. It's right in line with where the tie rods are. And I checked the cycling so when the A arm goes up and down, um, the tie rod will always clear with where the rack is and won't ever contact one of the A arms. So for the front here, it's a spline that's going into this here. And then we'll have our steering shaft come up here. It'll go in between our gas pedal and where the brake will be mounted over here. So it'll shoot the gap there and run up to where the driver is. Plan on having some sort of bar come across here. Um, and then we have a pillow bearing that will run, or that the steering shaft will run through, just to make sure that it's nice and stable if you're wrenching on it while you're turning. I'm mocking up the front suspension here. Um, I think this is what we're going to do for the tower in the front. This this tall beam here will be cut to uh, the length we want. But I think I'm going to run supports here, running out to keep it upright on both sides, as well as on the bottom. Um, I just have a piece of wood sitting here, but that will be a piece of metal that this upright piece will get uh, welded to. And then on this, I'm gonna run a piece of angle iron out, or out, and then the shock will mount in between there, and then run out to the A-arms. Um, I don't think we're gonna get um, too much movement in this once the shocks are mounted, because right now I can pull on it quite a bit, and it doesn't move. Um, these are sliding around a little bit, but all right, so the front shocks got mounted here, down to there, all welded into place on both sides here. Right now, I'm working on the steering. Um, we ran into a little bit of an issue because our tie rods are maxed out there, and it's not enough angle for that, as well as we're hitting this cross beam for the shock mount. So we're gonna have to, unfortunately, cut this away a little bit, just the corner of it, to make the tie rod fit in there. Once that's good, it should fit fine and work well, but we have to cut that out. All right, so we got the tie rods on for steering. They are Attach there, all the way out there. Here's Colton spinning it. You can see they're rotating well. Get a front view here. Yeah, these are the tires we got. That's what they look like. They're a little bit heavy. Um, they're 17 inch tires, so they're pretty good size. Alright, so here is what it looks like with the tire on it. We'll have to, we gotta cut this bolt inside here. Yeah, that's the wrong size bolt, but we threw it in there just so you could see what it looks like. About to there. So I have lots of turning radius there. But, there. looks like a drift car. <clears throat> but we gotta finish welding some stuff up and then we should be good for uh, a test on the road.